Hi, my name is Bridget. I'm Nick Robinson. My name is Thomas Fairweather. Hi, I'm Rachel. Today I'm going to be looking at Carl's Jr. and the position of shift leader. Hi, and welcome to Just the Job. Hey, Nick, how's it going? Yeah, good, thanks. And make sure you've got hair and protection on. The program made especially for New Zealand career seekers and career changers. Go nuts, go, go hard. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> You've done super well. It was a big cataract. Glad we got it out. Yes, I know you are. And welcome to Just the Job, the program that showcases the diverse range of careers that are out there just waiting for you. Ariane Settle from Ashburton heads to a large local dairy farm and teams up with farm manager Will Grayling. Then Ariane heads up to Hamilton to Dairy NZ's research labs to discover what technical advancements are being made in dairy farming. And finally, Ariane teams up with a range of rural professionals to discover how they help the dairy industry. Hi, I'm Martin White. I'm a year 13 at Sacred Heart College and I've been riding horses since I was little. I'm going to see if a career in the equine industry is right for me. The New Zealand equine industry is a big player on the world stage and there are lots of possible career opportunities for Martin to choose from. From thoroughbred racing, harness racing, breeding and racecourse management. To give Martin a taster of the industry, he's going to meet horse breeders, spend some time at a harness racing stable and sample a day in the life at one of New Zealand's top thoroughbred racing stables. Zealand Navy as Matthew finds out what it takes to become an officer of the watch. Then Thomas heads down the line to the New Zealand Army's Linton and Trentham bases where he helps plan field manoeuvres and finds out about careers with the military police. And finally Ellen from Kelston takes to the skies with the Royal New Zealand Air Force as she discovers what it takes to become an air warfare officer. We're here at New Zealand's largest supermarket as we join RP who's discovering what's involved in a career in retail meat. Then we head to New Zealand's only glass bottle making factory in Penrose as Jake looks at starting a career in mechanical engineering. And to round off today's program we're in Christchurch as Tony finds out about careers in the expanding heating, ventilation and air conditioning industry. First up, Daniel from Tauranga gets to grips with some big boys toys as he discovers what it takes to have a career as a crane driver. Then Brant from Whangarei flexes his muscles as he spends a couple of days sampling a career in the scaffolding industry. And finally, Dallas from Matamata is up on the roof in the Waikato as he finds out what it takes to have a successful career in the roofing industry. In today's show, Mitchell from Auckland's North Shore is pumping iron as he checks out a career as a fitness trainer. Then Jaden discovers what's involved in becoming a qualified engineer as he checks out the infrastructure rebuild in Christchurch. And finally, Super Supremo Jono checks out a hot and spicy career with Pizza Hut. Today's show, we check out what you need to become an electrical apprentice and then Thomas discovers some tasty career opportunities with KFC. So let's get started and head to South Auckland and join the latest intake of electrical apprentices with the Electrical Training Company. We join Bridget as she discovers the diverse range of great career opportunities in the retail sector. Then Sheldon gets on the tools as he finds out what it takes to have a career in residential building. And then Michaela heads to Carl's Jr. to discover the career possibilities with one of New Zealand's newest fast food brands. So let's get started with some good old retail care. Here's a question for you. What's the difference between an optometrist and an ophthalmologist? Well, we're about to open your eyes. In today's program, Student Sophie Gilderdale is looking at careers in eye health care and begins her journey looking at getting qualified as an optometrist at the University of Auckland. Then Sophie looks at the practical roles of an optometrist when she spends the day at Specsavers. And finally Sophie is at the Eye Institute looking at the rewarding career of an ophthalmologist. So let's get a good look at careers in eye health care which will often start at the University of Auckland. Today, 
we're looking at the Big OE. The Big OE Gap Year or Grand Tour. No matter what you call it, it's a Kiwi tradition. Usually involving extended travel in a foreign country, New Zealanders, young and not so young, have always had a strong desire to go forth and see the world. In this program, we're going to discover the various ways of making your OE a reality. Firstly, Rachel Kearney explores the preparations necessary for the traditional OE, where, armed with only a backpack, some maps and some hard-saved dollars, you go on your adventures. We discover how to get the best deals. We can look at flights 11 months in advance. Then we meet Drew Parker, a builder's apprentice from East Auckland who's heading off on a special OE to Africa, where he's going to put his building skills to use. It's sort of becoming a reality that it's all happening. And finally, we meet Janelle Chitty, who discovers how to secure overseas work before she sets off, so she's able to travel and get paid while on her adventure. Whatever the OE, invariably the experiences gained while travelling will broaden your horizons, you'll be exposed to new, exciting and challenging situations, and all this can certainly enhance your CV and your job prospects when you return to New Zealand. Hi and welcome to Just The Job. Today we've got a special program where George Keenan from Auckland's Red Beach is teaming up with Sarah from Careers New Zealand to discover the pluses and minuses of working for yourself.